today is a beautiful winter day out. The sun is shining. Hi, Tov. And we have a really exciting day planned. We are going to be going to do a little staycation somewhere super special in Cape Breton that we've never stayed before. But before check-in time, we are going to do a hike. Yeah. Where are we now? Ishkaban Falls is what we're going to do. Done it before, many times. Never done it in the middle of winter. Yeah. So very excited to see some frozen -y waterfall. So today we are right here and the actual picnic area isn't plowed so you just have to park right outside of it but the whole road leading up to the provincial park is plowed. So we're parked right here, walked in a little. Now we're gonna hike all the way up to there to the falls. Um, another one that we want to do someday is there is more trail but it's like advised that you don't do it because there's some bridges down and stuff but we would love to do some like more backcountry stuff and hike up to another waterfall that uh, some following friends of ours have told us about but that'll be for another day because we're looking forward to going to check in to this accommodation so today we're just gonna go see the regular Ishkaban Falls. nearly as Ishkaban Falls in the summer, fall, even spring. It's very easy to hike. Not like wheelchair accessible easy, but easy to hike trail. Whereas in the winter time, it's definitely slippery. But I think that's because it's such a popular trail that so many people are trampling down the snow that you don't need snowshoes, but it is really slippery. So like ice plates or like studs in your shoes or whatever would be helpful. That took us two hours and ten minutes total. I think we spent like 45 at the, the waterfall. So now we're gonna go check in to this special place. I'll let you know more in a minute. So it got really snowy. Very snowy. Well, we don't have four-wheel drive, so the the road going right up to the chalets is a little bit steep. So we had to park a bit down the road. Yeah, we didn't make it up. No. But also just the snow and it's like kind of icy underneath, so. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. We couldn't have planned that. We genuinely couldn't have. <laughs> oh, we said chalet. You guys don't know yet. It's, it's probably, probably gonna the be title in the title. <laughs> So the secret place that we are staying tonight is Valley View Chalets and I'm gonna we're gonna go see Skylar and she's gonna give you a little tour. It's super snowy right now. It's so pretty. Hi. Hi! Dog friendly. Dog friendly! Even comes with a dog bed. Watch out, Toby. So yeah, this is the secret place that we're in. Valley View Chalets. And it's like this cozy open studio space. I'll show you over here first. There's a table and a really cozy fireplace and TV and Wi-Fi and a fridge. Our dancing goat food is waiting for us in there. And pretty much a full kitchenette. We have the kettle on for tea right now. There's a microwave, all the dishes and stuff that you need. 
which is so helpful when places have that because it's so difficult to take all of that with you. And the super comfy bed. Apparently this is an ND mattress. So about one of those box mattresses. We have one at home, not an ND, but a box mattress. And they're super darn comfy. And then I believe this is all like hand carved local larch wood, I, I think. Don't, I'll have to check that fact. But yeah, everything is handmade in here. And couch, which is also really comfy. And just noticing some really nice little artwork pieces here. In the bathroom. And here, which again, would be all typical. A little Miss Brenna work. <laughs> and full shower. Yeah. Toby approves. Toby approves. We're just so happy that they can. You're so orange. Join us here with us. Yeah. Okay, girls, let's go back and lie down on your beds. Dog bed included? One dog bed. So if you have two dogs, bring a second bed, but we always bring extra blankets and stuff for them and towels. Check out this light fixture. I know, I was about to say. Super cool. This is just so, it's so modern, but cozy and Normally there would be an amazing view right now of Margaret Valley and we're actually I checked where the sun sets and we would have been like BAM would have been amazing <laughs> as promised but we are having a beautiful snowy day so you gotta weigh your weigh your options here. Lots of pretty snow or a beautiful sunset. We have snow today. But yeah. I Another love cool thing that I like is this glass cabinet. What are you laughing at, man? That's no, cool. It's always the little things it's with you. You're like, check out this one little feature. Love I love it. it. I love this. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a dishwasher. A dishwasher. Yeah. And yeah, the kettle's really cool, too. Did I open this one? Oh, yeah. Toaster, coffee maker, pots, cutting board, all that jazz. And then all of your cutlery is right here. There's a wine bottle opener. I'm always forgetting a wine bottle opener, so that's handy. And that's it. Now we're going to have a cozy stay. So on the way here, we stopped at the Dancing Goat. They're actually opening until 5. We thought they were going to close at 3. Picked up dinner. We got some huge sandwiches. This one is the Marguerite Malov. I can't remember how to say it, but it has so much meat on it. And this one is the chicken one. I believe it has like almonds in it and everything too. Both are so good. We have had them before. And then the chorizo salad and a French onion soup. Yeah. To this split. Is what Johnny has nightmares of. Shout out to Johnny. I have nightmares about French onion soup. Yeah. Uh, still, to this day. I hope he watches this. <laughs> so calm this morning and it's cleared up a bit. We had some more coffee out here and tea. 
We've just been relaxing. It's pretty good when you should get behind. You should get over here. Yeah. Someone to show the view. Like well, yeah, place. you get behind me here. <laughs> okay, this was our coffee view. <laughs> 360 degree views and our beautiful bed. That's what we woke up to this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to head home. That's the end of this video. Just a Wanted quick to possibly one. go on a hike, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, we'll see. We're feeling the dogs traveling with two dogs is still something we're getting used to. Toby is so good though. I was very, very impressed with her. She's looking at us in there right now like, what you doing? But yeah, traveling with two dogs is a new challenge that we are tackling. <laughs> so we're They just kinda, wanna go. They we're wanna go, tired. go, go. <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of exhausted because it's like having two little kids go outside, come inside, go outside, come inside. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Check See out Valley View Chalets and Marguerite yeah. next time you're in Cape Breton. Bye. Bye.